Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 27, 2022. If you like to support our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So, this was an absolutely horrible day for the NASDAQ and indices stocks in general, especially tech stocks, as you can see in here on my screen. Everything is very, very red. Tesla is down 12.18% today. That's that's just enormous. So it probably has to do something with uh, Elon Musk buying Twitter. And uh, therefore, the focus will most likely be taken off Tesla and it's on Twitter. I haven't looked at Twitter at this current stage, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was basically up. But everything else in general, big tech has just plunged. And it has plunged in a, in a, uh, the day before the big um, big companies are uh, about to to uh, pronounce their earnings. And uh, um, earnings are just out. And uh, Microsoft they beat their earnings. Uh, um, uh, Alphabet did not beat their earnings as I as I saw earlier on. And and yes, uh, so there probably was news that came out early that that. Uh, that caused this uh, sell-off, but this was also expected. It was completely expected to see the sell-off all the way down towards uh, the lows here. It did pass the lows, so we did at one point go to 12.8k, and the uh, previous lows was 12.9k. Uh, so we did cross it, did uh, pull back quite a bit, and at this current stage, we are significantly overstretched. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, tomorrow to see a rally up towards the previous highs, roughly at the 13.5K or probably the next few trading days all the way up towards the 50 moving average. So this was completely anticipated for this and we'll probably see the 50 moving average go something like this and we will see this go rallying up before continuing even lower. So we technically they haven't really made a lower low yet, but if you look at this trend line, this is probably where we are going to, heading towards um, a lower uh, low. Probably 12,000 is where we're going next, as that was the previous lows here, 12.2, it give or take. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, bearish, you can see the stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well, and we're on the edge of being oversold. So. We are also significantly outside of the Bollinger Band. And if we look at, for example, a four hour chart, you can just see how far outside of the Bollinger Band we are. So we will see this pullback. The question is how far we will basically rally before going lower. Uh, but at the current stage, we're in, the, for example, the four hour chart, it's significantly oversold. Um, and therefore, we we'll most likely see a rally before uh, continuing lower. So if you look at uh, the S&P 500, same goes for the S&P 500. We are way outside of the bullish band. We haven't basically broken below the previous lows here, but uh, that is just probably just a matter of time. We are significantly outside of the bullish band and therefore we may see this rally before going lower. Technical indicators, MACD is bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. And there's little or no room to the downside as we are on the edge of being oversold at this current stage. But also here, it looks like we are about to just make a new low and therefore continuing this pattern of lower lows. So we may see this rally and continuing lower but that is kind of where the market it is heading towards at this current stage. So let's look at the, the Dow Jones, also Dow Jones here just fell apart. We are down roughly to 2.36% in the Dow Jones and we are way outside of the bullish band, haven't crossed, uh, haven't um, reached the lows of, uh, of the February and March but it is heading there. We'll probably have a minor rally up to half tomorrow and then continue and can just continue to the downside. So at this, at this point, it is expected to go roughly around this area here at the 32.4. And we may see this continuation of uh, this uh, channel that basically 
uh, bearish channel to the downside. Therefore, we may see this market fall significantly further uh, to the downside. To the upside at this point, if there is an upside, if we may need to basically take about and take out the 50 moving average, is that which is at the 34.1k. Therefore, thereafter the 200 moving average at the 35k, and then go beyond that. Don't see that happening anytime soon, as we are entering a period with higher interest rates, uh, lower uh, basically. Um, lower liquidity in the market and that's basically been what's been driving this uptrend for the last 13 years that is basically just liquidity that has been been pumped into uh, the into the markets so let's look at the european markets and uh, also here nasdaq uh, not nasdaq but dax has also fallen quite aggressively we are down 1.2 uh, percent at this current stage so we're trading at give or take 13.7k uh, and we are basically there is no pullback at the end of the session and that kind of gives an indication that we will see this continue uh, to the downside macd has crossed the signal line indicated bearish momentum stochastic is very bearish and the rsi is also bearish and there's a little more room to the downside in the dax compared to uh, the s p 500 so or the Nasdaq and so on. We may see this rally up towards half and then just continuing it down back towards the 12 point, 12 and a half. Breaking 12 and a half, that opens the door to much lower levels. The first will be here, 11.4K, and after that, all the way down towards the 10.2K and then towards 8.2K. So yes, the European market is not looking very good and um, and to the upside, we basically need to take out the 50 moving average, which is at 14.3. After that, go towards the 40.9, and then the 200 moving average we have to add. But it is far away from that. We'll probably have a lot more destruction in the market going forward than we um, before we basically see um, a channel to basically the upside. If you look at the volatility index, this is completely overdone significantly outside of the bullish band and uh, therefore we should see this at least pull back towards the middle of the bullish band which is right here down towards 26 give or take we have the 50 moving average also traveling in this direction so around this area is where we most likely see this bounce to the upside if we break below here and then we'll go and test the 200 moving average yet again at the 23. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, and therefore I think that we will see a bounce from either of these uh, areas. And the stochastic is bullish, and so is the RSI. And there's quite a lot of room still to the upside before this becomes overbought. As I've mentioned in all of my videos, it looks like we are building up for a period with higher uh, volatility, and therefore we may see these stocks um, fall significantly further. Uh, indices also fall significantly further. It doesn't mean that we will go back towards uh, the very highest year of the pandemic of 80, 82 and so on, but we'll probably head back towards the previous highs here of 55 or towards uh, 42. That's uh, really difficult to say, but that's technically what we are building up to. I don't really see this changing at this point we are still heading towards this direction and therefore this next may uh, next move may lead us towards 40 uh, uh, before going back down so let's look at the us 10 year and this of course uh, had to fall at some point and it did um, it didn't bounce after the 20 exponential moving average and therefore if we have another close below the 20 exponential moving average, we may see this drop all the way down towards the 50 moving average, which is a roughly, which is going to be a roughly around this area, 2.4, give or take. That's where we will find the 50 moving average. So this was significantly overbought, but no, no more. MACD has become bearish, Stochastic has become bearish, and so has RSI. And so therefore, breaking below the 20 exponential, that leads us to towards the 50 moving average. And that's almost uh, 
quite a high certainty that we will see a bounce from the 50 moving average breaking below there well then we will open the door all the way down to the 200 moving average which will be roughly around the two so hope you find this helpful you won't support channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much